before we start this project, you'll need a radio collar and an animal. And in our case, we have a pheasant, so we will need to put the collar around the bird's neck. When you put the radio collar on the bird, you must tighten it, but not too tight so you don't choke it, but tight enough so it won't come off in the field. When you go out in the field, you will need a compass, GPS, receiver, antenna, headphones, and your data sheets. When you're out in the field looking for your animal and you have too large of a search cone that's bigger than 90 degrees, try reducing your cone down to 30 to 45 degrees. By doing that, try reducing the gain. If that doesn't work, turn on the attenuator, and if those two steps don't work, do, the, do them again, but try using the headphones. The attenuator reduces the strength of the received signal, allowing you to reduce the cone size. If it is hard to hear the beeps due to too much static coming from the speaker on the receiver box, try to adjust the gain knob. The tunage knob can be used to change the tone of the beeps, allowing you to hear them better. When doing your 360 degree sweep with the antenna, you need to find a vector. To find the vector, move the antenna until the beeping stops completely. Mark that place on the ground and go in the opposite direction with the antenna. Where the beeping stops, make another mark on the ground. These marks will be side of your ankle. While doing your 360 degree sweep with the antenna, you need to find your cone. To find your cone, move the antenna until the beeping stops. Mark it on the ground. Then move the antenna in the opposite direction where the beeping stops. Mark that on the ground. That will be the other edge of your cone. Ideally, you want it to be 30, 30 to 45 degrees wide. 